Hello and welcome to another episode of Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003, the Tiger Challenge. Today, we've got a guy's second name, I don't know how you pronounce. There's a few ways you can pronounce it, so we'll find out in the movie. He's quite tall. He's got a good, what, six inches on me. Although, I think I'm still heavier than he is. I've got quite the belly. <laughs> uh, right. Sawgrass, putting. We'll see if he's as good as Tsunami with his miracle putt. That was insane last episode, but for now... Back to match play. Let's do this. Yeah, we'll max away you. Stuart Sink is a two-time winner on the PGA Tour, but he may be most remembered for finishing just one shot out of a playoff in that thrilling conclusion to the 2001 U.S. Open, catapulting him to a top 30 finish on the money list and a berth in the Tour Championship. Stuart lives in Duluth, Georgia, with his wife Lisa and their two children. Terrific for golf. This is Bill McAtee for EA. Right, so I grass blue tees. Apparently. Yeah, blue tees. But I think the pins were hard. So we should just be able to blast this. I didn't change my bloody Oh, I wish it saved your like t shirt. It's meant to be black. I like how the crowd are overpowering the commentator though. Let's see how his approach game is. Apparently he's meant to be good at putting, so if he gets close he'll make it for sure. Okay. That's a tough putt, so I think we're good. Oh, I'm caught between two clubs here. Okay, not terrible, not terrible. But it's still a tough putt. I'm on a hill, so that, that, yeah, that's going to be hard. It's about to be a tight hole. Caught, caught between two clubs. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a shot. oh okay. Okay. Eh, uh, shit. Well, am I supposed to compete with that? <laughs> oh, no. We'll go back there. Okay, we're in trouble. I mean, if he's going to make miracle putts like that, what am I supposed to do? On this relatively short, I'm pissed off now. Stupid sick. Your name's stupid. Right. Can't hit it over the trees, but we can hopefully get within uh, distance of an eagle here. Because you can't get there for sure. Tell us what you have, David. I can. Yards, maybe close to right, I need a bit of power boost, so it carries that hill. Oh, I missed missed it to the right. That's not good. Oh. Oh, oh, what a shot. Suck it, Sink. That's just spectacular. We could be looking at a three here. Suck on that. Almost a double eagle within two feet. As long as he doesn't chip this in. Right. If it makes his putt as well, I'm going to turn because I can't putt. Okay, he's missed one. This for an eagle three. It's straight in, apparently. There it is. It's an eagle. Didn't even need it. He misses that one. We're back to tide. It was getting power anyway, so I really would have done. A shot requiring a middle to short iron is needed to reach. But he's putting game eight, no joke. 
Yeah, it's up three inches, so this should fall a bit shorter than what it says. This should get relatively close. Oh, I want some more backspin then. I want some more backspin there. I'm on a hill, which isn't great. But he's worse, he's worse. So hopefully he misses that, but that first put, put me on edge. This for birdie. Okay, he didn't do the heartbeat, so he's missed. This but, is for birdie. Right. One a hell, which is not great. See, 10 inches in this game is a lot more, I feel like, than 10 inches in 05. That's my opinion, anyway. See what I mean? Like, it's definitely 10 inches in 05. That's like one, one and a half feet, you know. I, I swear the distances are, are, are significantly different. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like that is a lot more than 10. Unless the, unless the caddy's wrong. The fourth of the two pieces. I feel like in 05 I would make that putt. I like the looks of this one. It's well, what I ten to eleven inches in 05 tend to tend to be where I'm bad at. To be fair, but it's not that far. The question is: Is this just the front slash? Is this just the front nine, or is it all 18? Because it doesn't tell you that. At least if it does, I've not seen it. He's into the right. I don't know what he's doing there. That's a very passive shot. That'll be in good shape. Oh, great. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah, that's going to be a tough putt again. It's on the slant. I'm gonna get it close because he's close. Time. You can win the hole with this putt. Yeah, it's like over a wrist, surely. Like, that's not. That's a lot more than two feet. For me. But looking at that, it's like over here. Yeah, uh, well, took too much power out of it. Sink for par. It's meant to. You can make the first pot of the game, and you can't make that. Okay. Let's go. I mean, it's not easy to be fair, but still. Oh no, no. I think it's about there. Uh, it's so close. I could be five inches still left. Oh my! That was five inches. My that was straight in. That was straight in. This cat is terrible. This this cat is working for sink. This dog leg right. Sabotaging me. I was that five inches still left. It was no way. That was straight in. That, was that left edge straight in. Is it because my putting skill's still low, so it gives me the wrong? Is that how the putting skill works? I could lose it. This is ridiculous, man. A bit unfair to just sub it, just to give well make the caddy give me wrong information. Surely, I just completely misread that. But if ten inches is you know massive to the left, as we saw with the earlier putt, five inches is still sizable. I don't know anymore. It's, it's not on the green, so we can get close. This is dead. There we are, close approach. We can tie, tie, tie the, the game again. Should have a good chance from there. Sink for pie, should get this. But we're definitely getting a bird here. 
Wow, okay. This is a birdie putt. You've that one. You're on your way. Right, back to tide. We get to lead in this game, it's not great. Oh, the caddy has really done me in. The sixth hole is a perfect. Right, no power boost because I don't want this in the rough. You'll be in good shape with this one. Hopefully, I'm not caught between two clubs again. Why does it play like the draw slash fade? It just hits it straight. It's a straight fairway, surely. Okay, he's, he should make that, surely. Oh, come on. Right, it's uphill though. Approach shot, a lot of power boost behind this. Roll it up a bit. Five feet. Could have been a bit closer with a bit less backspin, but I played it safe. With him likely getting a birdie, which he does. I just had to give me a, a makeable putt. Right, he's saying that straight in. Not, not look, look, looking like it goes a bit so less, so. Tell on the right to make sure it goes in. And we tie the hole. Area on the seventh of the TP. Right. Let's blast it again. It's a long, wide, and straight. Can't go too wrong here unless you completely miss hit it. I'm assuming that's easy to do when your accuracy is not that great in terms of your start, you know, your attribute. This looks good. It's down the middle. We've got the power advantage over this guy, so that's not that's good for the par fives. Okay. This one's in a good spot. You might miss that. How close can I get? Pretty close from the looks of it. Bit of forward spin. Oh, game. Oh, I almost, almost got that in. Where's well, gravity, man? Newton. We've got questions for you, buddy. And he's missed it. Right. Aim just sure. Okay. Back there. Only just. It looked like it bounced out for a second, but we get the birdie. We're one up. The question is, is it just a front nine or is it all 18? My theory was the, longest par three here at the, usually you know, the standard challenges were just nine holes and then the ones at the end of the tier. Right. I think five iron with a bit of power boost to make sure this carries enough. And then backspin it if we need to. Or front spin it if we need to. Okay, yeah, that's worked out. What about not here then? Spyglass Hill, okay. You earn courses the more money you make, so that's pushed me over the uh, whatever money you need to unlock that course. Oh, we can make that putt. How close will Sink get? Similar shot, basically. He's just a bit further away with eight feet, it's not bad. He gets it in. It's a birdie. But we've also got an easy part. It's straight in. And it's dummy ones, but it's just the front nine. It's going all the way, which is not great, but I'll blame the caddy. It's the caddy's fault. You're giving me wrong info. But we can't lose here. We can go to a tiebreaker, but we can't lose, so the pressure's on the AI, who can't feel the pressure. Like the looks of this one, it's just fine. See, in 05 I could get there. But in 03 I can't do the, I can't change my stance, so this will be tougher. He can't. 
Because even if I can make it, it's going to bounce off the green, isn't it? He's in the rough. Well, he's in the rough. So I can go for it. I'm going to. I'm, I'm going. I'm going to play the risk. Oh, it's worked out. I can't put that. It's ended up in like a little ditch there on the green, but we're on it. Bounced off the rough, took the power out of it. It's probably a two-put though. If I could call it, I'd say this one is going in. The commentator thinks it's going in. It was wrong. This putt will oh, hello. The match. This isn't too bad. If we, if we get close, we still win the match anyway. Let's do it. For Eagle. Go on. Yes. The putt was easier than predicted. We get the Eagle to end it. Sick puts up a big fight. I think Arcadia was working for him. But we win. Eventually. Not told 7 out uh, Tigers Dream 18 for 03. We've unlocked Sync as well. When it's just two up, not great, but a win's a win. We didn't lose the wager, thankfully. 269,000 when we get out of that. Right. So that'll be my put in as well, and the spin. There we are, slowly getting the. I might play some like skins and that just to get some money. But next up, it's Stuart Appleby from Australia, six foot one, 185 pounds. That'll be at well, but now he's got power, okay. Well, that'll be next time. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for some Let's Play Tiger Wars PGA Total 2003, the Tiger Challenge.